can LeBron James really play with his son? So the other day I was scrolling through Twitter and I came across this. LeBron James wearing a t-shirt of his son, which is a similar type to the NBA shirts from the 90s that feature cartoon players with heads larger than their bodies. So on a side note, if anyone actually knows where you can buy that t-shirt, if it's possible, let me know down below in the comment section because I actually want it. Anyway, the whole point of this is that it got me thinking. Can it really be possible that LeBron James can actually play in the same league as his son? Not just that, based off this quick interview, can he play for the same team as LeBron James Jr., the first father and son player tandem in the NBA? Before I start with the video, I just really want to thank today's sponsor, FanDuel. With FanDuel, you can enter daily contests with their FanDuel Fantasy app, and you can win massive prizes. The tournaments have huge guaranteed prize pools worth thousands of dollars. For example, Thursday's NBA Shot Contest had a guaranteed prize pool of $300,000. So just imagine if you won, you get $100,000. Second place gets $30,000 and third place gets $15,000, which is just insane. And the awesome part about it is you don't even have to put in that much to win. You can put in a dollar, two dollars, three dollars, and just imagine if you won that crazy prize. So if you guys just want to test it out, get a five dollar bonus, use my code GOAT03. And you know how it is, D Wade with the game winner, he's the GOAT03. Download the app, get onto it, you can win some crazy cash, so why not do it? So once again, download the FanDuel app. Thank you guys for sponsoring, and let's get on with the video. Where are you and your son oh to play the game together? By the way, can you like? Are you going to be able? You're going to like to stay that long to play? By the way, son? if he has a chance and it seems like he can make it, you are. What? You got to. You got to. You got to do the Griffin. No, you got to do it. You got to. You got to. And same team. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Set up your free agency. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> That'd be amazing. Yep, and I'm done. As soon as we do it, boom. You hey, go God. ahead, son. You it's got it from you. here. You got it from here. When I looked up this video to see if anyone had done it, I noticed that Jimmy High Roller had, and I'll link his video in my description box down below, but his was made nearly two years ago, and it was uploaded in May of 2017, and it's currently almost March of 2019, and honestly, a lot has changed from that time that Jimmy made that video to now. Let's go through a list. Number one, LeBron James obviously announced that he was leaving the Cleveland Cavaliers to sign a four-year deal with the Los Angeles Lakers, $153 million. The second thing, LeBron James' newest contract will expire in the year of 2022. Thirdly, LeBron James Jr. is anticipated to graduate from high school in the year of 2022. The MBPA has proposed players to be drafted at age 18 once again. The fourth thing, LeBron James has actually now suffered his first major injury of his career. It's minor, but major, and we'll get to that later on. The last thing is that LeBron James Jr. is still on that same trajectory to get drafted to the NBA, which was the same as in Jimmy High Roller's video, but now he's even better. So now, let's break down each point on the list. Number one, LeBron James joining the Lakers means that they automatically become a contender and will most likely not get a top pick in the NBA draft. Okay, now first off, yes, the Lakers haven't shown that they are a contender this season, but let's be honest, all they need is one free agent to sign with them. <coughs> Anthony Davis, <coughs> or they will eventually just fold and make a trade for a star because they have a lot of assets that they can actually trade for a star player and they need to win now considering that they do have LeBron James on the roster. So what does this mean for the Lakers and what does that have to do with LeBron James Jr.? Well, first of all, we don't even know if LeBron James Jr. will be a top pick in the NBA draft, so the Lakers can hold on to their picks. Literally, that is out of the question at this point. LeBron James Jr. is only 14. But if the Lakers are good, and so is Bronny Jr., then most likely the Lakers will not be able to draft him, which leads me to the next point. Number two, LeBron James's contract expires in the year of 2022. With LeBron James being a free agent and already stating many times, even in the year of 2019, that he's accomplished what he needs to accomplish in the NBA. There isn't anything left I have to prove. Do you agree with LeBron? No, I do not. And there's not very much, Skip, that I disagree with the King of Akron this on. Is, this is shocking. He even calls himself the greatest player of all time, which, looking back, I don't know why he said that, because he copped a lot of criticism for that, and it does make him look kind of bad by saying it. That one so, right there made me the greatest player of all time. For That's so many I reasons. I was super, super ecstatic to win one for Cleveland because of the 52-year drought. 
And then after I stopped, I was like, that one right there made you the greatest player of all time. No false modesty. Are you the best to ever play this game? I like to think that I was the best. When I leave this game, I like to think that I was the best I ever played in, in the 15 years that I played. Even if you agree that he is the greatest or disagree, I just don't think players should call themselves the greatest, but that's beside the point. I know what he was trying to say because that play was incredible. That was one of the greatest plays of all time. Don't know if it translates to him being the greatest player, but that's a whole nother discussion anyway. But by the time that 2022 comes around, depending on the team that drafts LeBron James Jr., I would not be surprised to see LeBron James take a step back and actually join that particular team in free agency. I mean, after all, he did say he'd want to play with his son, and it also means that a lot of NBA teams may actually look to draft LeBron James Jr. earlier in the draft, knowing that his father might also be joining the team. Once again, remember, LeBron James has said he's accomplished everything that he's wanted to in his career. And LeBron James Jr., when looking at his highlights, he seems a legit prospect. He doesn't get a top ranking without being a legit prospect after all. But even without that, his name, father, his physical attributes and height, his potential and overall game suggest that he will probably be drafted to the league no matter what. Number 3. Points 3, 4 and 6 all go hand in hand. And to refresh your memory, these points are LeBron James Jr. is anticipated to graduate from high school in 2022, the MBPA has proposed players to be drafted at the age of 18 once again, and LeBron James Jr. is still on the same trajectory to get drafted to the NBA. We have to remember that LeBron James Jr. is only 14 years old, making his future very unpredictable. We don't know if LeBron James Jr. will be a lottery pick, which the Lakers probably won't have. We don't know if LeBron James Jr. will be a later pick. We don't even know if he'll get drafted to the NBA, but for the sake of the video and what I said before, let's just assume he does. Tying this all into the main points, we must look at what happened recently with Zion Williamson and that shoe explosion. When that happened, I immediately made a video after. In that video, I said if he suffers one more injury just like that, it could jeopardize his future. Literally, the morning after Williamson suffered that right knee sprain, USA Today's Jeff Ziglett reported that the NBA submitted a formal proposal to the National Players Association to lower the minimum age for draft eligible players from 19 to 18. Now both sides, the NBA and the NBPA, will negotiate with an eye towards the 2022 draft, being the first to once again allow high school players to declare for the draft. And why is that important? Well, I don't know if you heard correctly, but the 2022 draft. That is the draft class of Bronny Jr. This means he has a chance to come out of high school, meaning that LeBron James also has one less year to play if he wants to join forces with his son. And point number two, that is also his contract year. Now for the final point, which I mentioned, LeBron James actually suffered the worst injury of his career. Yes, I understand it wasn't the most horrific injury, but a groin injury to any player who was 34 years old is not great. It was at age 34 that Kobe started to get injuries and decline as well, but at the same time, Kobe and LeBron are completely different players. And like I said, this is a groin injury, and it's not the worst thing that has ever happened to a player, but it does say a lot about him. Number one, it's the first injury that he's really had. And after sustaining the groin injury on December 25th against the Warriors, LeBron James had the longest absence of his 16-year career, missing 17 games. Now 17 games is a lot, but it's also 17 games, which is not much in the span of his entire 16 year career. And this tells us two things. Number one is that LeBron James is unbelievably durable and takes incredible care of his body, putting millions and millions of dollars every year to look after himself, which probably allows him to actually play until he's 40 years old or longer, even with his style of play. It would be an incredible feat, even for a player as physically blessed as LeBron James, He'd have to stave off a career-ending injury and stay relatively healthy even as he advanced in age. He would need to continue to work on his game so that he could continue to compete as his athleticism declines year after year. But to be honest, it's hard to imagine LeBron James slowing down just because he's been this great for so long. Although his defense is looking very sus at the moment and maybe that's the first sign of his decline. And how does this tie into LeBron James Jr. being able to play with LeBron James? Well, obviously, if LeBron James is able to keep healthy, then he's going to be in the league, which means LeBron James Jr. has a higher chance to play with his dad. You get the point. 
Overall, I think at this rate, it's probably too early to know whether it will happen. But if you want to know my prediction, well, I really do believe that LeBron James will be the first player to ever play with his son in the NBA. It is very hard to believe that he won't, considering it's only three years away. I think whilst there is a very minor chance LeBron James may not actually play past 2022, I do think that he will, but he will also start to decline every year from now. I also believe that if LeBron James Jr. actually gets drafted, which as stated in this video, the hype plus the name will probably get him in the league no matter what, and LeBron James is a free agent in that same year, look. He still is LeBron James, and we know how much care he takes of his body. So I do believe he still will be in the league. And for all I know, his one last goal by 2022 would be to play with his son before it's the end for the King. So if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Wait, hold up. Subscribe if you're new, and we out, all right? Oh, by the way, man, check how fire these are, all right? Jordan 13th, Black History Month edition. Anyway. It's been your Bronny Smith. Leave a like on the video, subscribe if you're new, and comment down below what you thought. Can Bronny and Bronny Jr. play together? Who knows? I'm out. Peace!